system allows you to, to have the car driving uh, completely automatically. So you can think of it as a cruise control system that follows the car in front and it, then the car brakes for you, it accelerates for you and also as you can see it steers for you. Hands off the wheel, feet off the pedals and relax. This prototype system offers a new way of driving, one where someone else takes control of your car. And this means that uh, you don't have to pay attention to the road and if you want you can do something, uh, something else. The technology is known as a road train and the person paying attention to the road is a specially trained driver in a lead truck. Once on the move, cars drive up behind the truck and join the line. They're linked together by an invisible electronic bond of radar, cameras and Wi-Fi. The heart of the system is a, is a fusion of technology. Um, I don't think we'd be able to do it if we didn't have the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications. So we're effectively using Wi-Fi that is being used to communicate from a lead vehicle to each of the following vehicles to provide in additional information for those vehicles so that they can make um, control decisions about what they need to do. The road train system is a prototype developed within a European project. The idea is that it could cut fuel consumption, reduce congestion and make roads safer. Of course, there are many legal and administrative hurdles to overcome before the road trains could ever be allowed on public roads. But some aspects of the automation technology may be available soon. It's likely that there will be um, earlier iterations where you, you just have different layers of cooperation between vehicles where the driver is still uh, more in the loop, um, which will get onto the highways in, a, in an earlier form. Out on the Volvo test track, the road train has been rolling for an hour with the cars at a controlled distance just a few metres apart. People like driving, and driving is fun. But driving is not always fun. Uh, sometimes it's really boring, and we want to provide our customers a way of uh, transportation in which they don't have to pay attention to the road, in which they don't have to drive in traffic use, but where they can do something else with their time.